Hello, my name is Grian, and today I'm going to be showing you five different designs based on different themes and biomes for when you just start out, because you don't just have to make a dirt house for your first night in Minecraft, you can come up with other designs, and just based on all of the resources that I have around me in those biomes, I come up with a few designs. Let's get straight into it. So the first one I'm going to be covering is sort of a snowy, mountainy biome, but um, of course you could put this in any sort of snow biome. So the spruce wood is going to be our main source of resources, so that's exactly what we're going to be using to make this. But of course there is stone around so we can use cobble, and I'm going to avoid using dirt in all of the designs that I'm going to show you. So the first thing I'm going to do is integrate this into the mountain. What this does is save a whole bunch of time. It looks like a lovely little chalet kind of thing, and by the way, these houses are not supposed to look good, they're supposed to be a sort of average build for your first night. So I'm just doing a very simple roof with an overhang, adding some logs behind that overhang, and then having the actual structure integrated into the mountainside. I feel like this actually fits really nicely into the biome, and we are of course only using the materials from the biome itself, cobble's easy to come by, and to detail this very very simple house, we just add a quick doorway and then just go inside and completely hollow it out where the actual living space is going to be. Add two very simple windows with a couple of spruce staircase, add some windows and there is some sand nearby if you were wondering if that was a nearby material, add some windows and a couple of bits of detailing, and that's kind of it. It's a very very simple build to do. You can add some more staircases to give it that little extra bit of detail, add some more staircases to make yourself a little walkway down to the bottom of your mountain, and then that's kind of it. You've got a nice wooden hut integrated into the mountain. This took me seven minutes to make in-game. That's no time at all. If you had the resources, you could make that in your first or second day and have a lovely starting house to go on. Next up, we have the savanna. Now, this presented quite a unique challenge for me because it's plains, for one, and acacia wood is not a block that I typically use. But if you, for example, started in this area and you wanted to build a nice little house, then there's still the option to do something. But to keep it in theme, I decided to go along and make a sort of tribal hut. And I did this very simply using mainly, I think only, acacia wood. I start off by starting a small circle segment and then work a entrance into the center of it. I then go on to finish a complete circle as I work out what I'm going to do with this little hut. This design is very situational and you might want to edit this as much as possible. So you can see that I finished this circle here, very rudimentary and quite small, but again this is a starter house that you should be able to finish in your first couple of days. So just fill in the floor with acacia slab, and then we've got a base to our house. It is of course raised off the ground for defense purposes, and you can create these little stumps with acacia fence and just give them a little bit of support there. Secondly, you want to go onto the top and spread out your support beams throughout your circle in roughly the spacing that I'm doing, although you could do whatever you want, and raise them up to a standard height. I've gone for four blocks because I like to have a lot of height in my builds. Once you've done that, that's pretty much the body of the entire build done because this isn't going to have walls being a tribal hut that I'm going for. So now I'm going to do the roof really quick, and it's just a simple case of running round lots of half slabs and making it overhang over the top of your support beams. Once you've done that, you can then work on trying to get it the best shape possible, which I had considerable difficulty in. Editing it as much as possible is completely fine, but obviously you don't want to waste too much time as this is only a starter house. You can then go on the underside of your pillars and just add some staircase block just to make the transition a little bit smoother and just make it look like it's not sitting on the top, the roof that is, and it's actually attached and being supported, which I think is always a really nice trait. Once you've done that, of course, you can then go on the top and just fill in the rest in a nice circle, raising it up half a slab every single time you go and make a new circle. Very simple stuff, and this build is in fact very simple. On the inside, you might want to consider just tidying up the ceiling a little bit. All I did here was add a load of staircases in a circle, just mirroring what was on the top, and it just makes it look really tidy underneath if you've got a few acacia wood to spare. So that's it for this house, it's very simple, you can see that I've also added some half slabs on some of the fences, 
as a little precautionary measure, if you find that you're being attacked by mobs, you can just add a few more blocks there to protect yourself from arrows, it's not a big deal, or you could just add more fences as a protection layer. Let's move on to the next one, which is going to be situated in the desert. I had the biggest problem with this one because there's no trees. I had to work solely with the sandstone and sand blocks. So this presented a completely new challenge, and for all of you crazy people that are going to live in the desert, I don't know why you would stay there, I would, if I were you, go and find some trees, but that's just me. If you want to know how to make it, continue on with this design. So, for this, I'm mainly going to be aiming for a very sandcastle look. Just editing a square sandstone block to be a bit more interesting and have a bit more shape. And it's actually very simple once you've collected enough of the sandstone. So, as you can see, I've got a very simple base, just a normal square with plenty of space on the inside for a starter house. I've also created something to detail the corners with a little bit of sand and some sandstone staircase which is going to be one of the primary blocks that we're going to be detailing with so make sure that you've got plenty of them. As for detailing, we can just do some very simple windows and in fact because of the cactus and the sand available one of the very few blocks we have at our disposal is stained green glass so we can use that as an option for our windows. We could have completely sealed off the top and had that as our house but me being me likes to make it a little more extravagant and I've actually raised up the roof quite a substantial amount and going in a block every time I raise it up a few blocks to sort of create a really nice looking sand castle appearance. Now this is kind of going a bit overboard for a starter house. I may have got slightly carried away, but to be honest with you, if you have an abundance of sandstone at your disposal, it really wouldn't take long to build this up and make it look kind of nice. Although a starter house doesn't really need this much detail, I like to make it a little bit more interesting. And I know that there is no door available for us, but I did add a birchwood door just to try and complete the build a little bit more. We do also have stone available to us if you go underground, so I added some stone buttons as a little bit of detailing, but that sandstone hut should do enough for you for your first few nights in Minecraft if you ended up living in the desert. Next up we have the canyon. This is a very rare biome in Minecraft and the chances of you spawning and wanting to live here are a little bit steep. but. Nevertheless, let's make a small design for this. This isn't my best work, but with the limited use of just stained clays, I decided to go for a very sort of native looking hut. So as you can see, I've made a circle on the ground and I've raised it up quite high. I then knock in a few windows and a door and add some sandstone slabs for support because there's a lot of red sand in the canyon. Now, I'm now adding a mushroom topped roof Getting the shape of this is going to be extremely difficult. I myself struggled to get exactly the right shape. However, this is just a starter house, so just getting a basic shape, it should be enough for you to collect the resources you need for a proper house. I think this has a lot of charm to it, and for detailing, I just add a bunch of red sandstone to sort of occupy the spaces where it looks a little bit simplistic. Just adding those at the windows and a little bit round in the supports at the bottom just makes it look a little bit more interesting. And then using white stained clay I add a floor and just sort of play around with some of the shapes on the roof if you're not happy with it as I definitely wasn't. But once you've done that, that's kind of it. It's a very simple looking hut and you could have a farm around you and I think it would look pretty nice. Now on to the last segment which is the jungle. Now for this starter house, although I had a good idea of what I wanted it to be, my PC did not like the jungle at all, so you might see some frame drops here and I do apologise, I did the best I can. Anyway, let's start with some very simple techniques. Adding a circle around the trunk of a tree about halfway up. You can choose pretty much any circle you want, but roughly this size, maybe even a tad smaller would be appropriate. Now underneath, we're going to want to create some sort of support system, otherwise it's just going to look like it's hanging off the middle of the tree, which isn't very good. So all I've done is created these jungle wood striations that sort of attach to the bottom, but work their way up to make it actually look like like there is some support there. It's actually a very important detail that you put in if you want this build to look good. 
Then I go ahead and just make the floor, and as we have done with several of our other builds in this video, just create the supports at regular intervals around our circle. This hut is going to be rather simple, but it's going to be difficult to make because it is in the middle of the air, you're going to need some dirt scaffolding for this one. There is actually oak log in the jungle, so I did create just oak wood as a filler for those support beams on my hut. I then go ahead and use jungle wood for the rest of it, first of all being my roof, which again is just very similar to the one we made in the savannah, where we make this curved top using the various blocks available to us and going up very steadily but on this one we have a staircase block as our outer block. So now all we have to do is detail our rather modest looking hut in the jungle. I like how it's over into a river or the ocean, I think that's a really good detail to have. Now, for the detailing it's very very simple, just add a couple of windows, nothing fancy, there's no mobs gonna get you up there, and then to finish off you can add some fences as detail and a ladder to make sure you can get up okay. And that's it, a very simple build and a lovely starter house if you're going to live in the jungle. So that's it from me guys, I hope you really enjoyed this very different video, I don't normally do overly simplistic builds that you can make very short amount of time, I usually go for good builds you know, but this is ideally for those of you that can't stand living in a dirt hut because your builder senses won't let you, this is for the people that really just have to make something that's acceptable. I know the designs that I did are not great, don't go in the comments bashing my abilities, this was specifically designed to be quick, simple, but not look like a dirt hut. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough from me. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you're at the end of the video and you're hearing my voice, thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. It does make a huge amount of difference. If you have any suggestions for future videos, I am all ears. I really do listen to my subs as much as possible, even to the point where I made a modern house. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Goodbye.